Hello there, God bless you. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. God says, you made an appearance and now someone has been instructed to take care of you. You made an appearance and now someone has been instructed to take care of you. It's always an amazing privilege for me to bring you prophetic message. Each time God drops the word in my spirit, I am always happy because I know it's not a privilege. It's not, it's not a ride. I'm just here by privilege. It could have been in anyone else, but God chose to pass this word through me and I do not take it for granted. So God was talking to me and he said, there is a channel through which favor flows. When you pray for favor, you must get ready for it. When you pray for favor, you must get ready for it because there are certain things, there are certain protocols that you have to follow if you want to make use of the favor of God. Now, Mordecai or Haman had written a, a, a decree against the Jew. They were about to be executed. Mordecai, when he heard about it, he reached out to Esther and he said, this is the case. We are going to need you to plead for us. So there was an issue on ground. And now Esther knew it wasn't season for her to meet the king. And there is something that happens when it's, time for, when it's not time for you to meet the king and you make an appearance. You might be executed. Esther was aware of this. So she decided to take a fast and prayed. She prayed to God to receive favor in the sight of the king. Now, what caught my attention in this is, so many of us, we think prayers just make it happen. When you pray about it, it is just going to happen. No, after you pray about it, you've got to plan strategically. You've got to plan. You see Esther planning. After she prayed, she believed God that God has heard her. But she went ahead to adorn herself. She dressed so well, looked so good. I am imagining she, she put on a very expensive perfume so as to be irresistible before the king. So there were two things that were working for Esther when she went before the king. The favor of God that came as a result of her prayer. And now, the way she looked was really irresistible. When the king saw her at sight, it was irresistible. And the king had no option than to grant her her request, anything she asked. So God is telling me to tell someone, you have prayed about it. It doesn't just end at prayer. You've got to make an appearance. Before you go for that job interview, after you've prayed for favor, You've got to make an appearance. You have to look the best way possible. Dress good. Smell good. I mean, be at the top of your game. So there are no compromises. When you do, when you, when you handle the spiritual, you handle the physical. The people you are talking to, they will have no choice but to do it. I don't know who needs to hear this. But I really do hope that this word makes a difference somehow in your life in the mighty name of jesus may the lord bless you keep your causes face to shine upon you may he be gracious to you and give you peace in jesus mighty name amen god bless you